We're back for more of the news today. The Chairman of Financial Commission of the Republic of the Union of Myanmar, President Odin Sein, attended the Financial Commission's meeting 1-2013, held at the Presidential House on the 12th of March. President Uten Sein said that Union budget for 2013-2014 fiscal year to submit to the Pidang Sufluto and the bill on 2013 Union budget are to be discussed at the meeting. They were approved at the Commission's meeting 3-2012, held on the 31st of December 2012. The Union government sent them to the Pidang Sufluto on the 7th of January 2013. Pidang Sufluto discussed, amended, and approved the bill. Pidang Sufluto also informed the Union government to withdraw and resend the Union estimated budget on 4th March 2013. During 2013-2014 fiscal year, the budget allocation for the Union and regions and states is over 13 trillion chats. Expenditure is over 16 trillion chats. So the deficit is around 292 billion chats. As the GDP value is over 59 trillion, the ratio of deficit and GDP equals to 4.94%. That figure is drawn in line with 2013 National Planning Bill amended and approved by Pidang Sufluto. In making amendments, Pidang Sufluto suspend, omitted, and added some projects to balance the reduction and increasing of the budget in coordination with relevant departments. To compare with the old budget, normal expenditure of the union and regions and states has increased to 343.871 billion charts. The expenditure in bulk has reduced to 184, uh, 85.753 billion and the credit expenditure has increased 10 billion. Changes also occurred in normal expenditure of region and state level. Union government is also set to increase the salaries and daily wages of Tama Domain, Army, Navy, and Air to be appropriate to uh, current situation while continuing to provide current extra provision and transport allowance. For offering additional amount of salaries and pensions, the government has to spend a huge amount of money, about 385 billion shots. In the President's New Year resolution message sent to Pidang Sohluto Speaker, Peter Luther Speaker and Representatives, it has already mentioned that the monetary aids to be provided to the government staff will increase step by step. The already drafted estimated budget account is revised to be in line with 2013 National Planning Bill, so members of the Finance Commission have to discuss and approve. Union Minister for Finance and Revenue, Uwin Shane, explained about the state's budget and 2013 finance expenditure bill. Respective Chief Ministers, Union Ministers, and Union Auditor General made financial reports. In his closing speech, the President urged the Union Government and the region state governments to lead and fully implement the aims of national planning law for 2013-2014 fiscal year after the adoption of estimated budget bill according to the Constitution at the 6th regular session of Pidang Sufluto. The Union Government is striving to increase the per capita income of all citizens including civil service personnel as their active participation is vital for the clean government and good governance. The ministries and region state governments should supervise and monitor personally and qualification of uh, service personnel while rendering their rights and provisions. They achieve better prospects in the state's financial sector due to the union government's systematic supervision on annual state budget bill, cooperation and coordination between the government and LUTO, and check and balance to the state's microeconomy. He urged the regions and state's governments to carry out efficient financial and resource management while collecting the tax and revenues, utilizing foreign aids, grants and loans, and giving priority for education and health sectors. The President urged all concerned to wisely spend the state budget without loss and waste for the development of living standard and per capita income of the entire people. 
The uh, delegation led by Vice Chairman of the Union Peacemaking Working Committee, U Aung Min, and members including Lieutenant General Miso of the Ministry of Defense Office Army, held a discussion with KIO delegates led by member of KIO Standing Committee, Usun Lu Gan, in Shui of People's Republic of China on the 11th and 12th of March. The two sides held a cordial discussion and reached consensus. They agreed to, one, gaining concrete ceasefire based on mutual understanding, respect and trust for enabling to hold genuine political dialogues, two, keep negotiating matters on the two troops in conflict prone areas since the number of battles could have been reduced as a result of political dialogue held on 4th February 2013. The instructions and orders will make reach the grassroots level troops. Three, open monitoring offices as necessary by negotiation to monitor the front line and make closer negotiation. Four, further implementation of the agreements reached at the meetings held on 4th February 2013 and 11th and 12th of March 2013. Five, to hold another meeting before 10th April 2013. It is learned that negotiations will be made face by face for enabling to hold nationwide genuine political dialogues. Four representatives from United, United National Federal Council, two from SSPP, two from RCSS, two from NDAA, four from PCG and the Attaché of Foreign Affairs Department of PRC, Wang Zhongying, and two members attended the dialogue as the witnesses. As the ceasefire process is underway, the government will be able to gear up regional development and rehabilitation tasks in Kachin State. We have more news to come. Please stay tuned.